Do you want to know more about model railroad operations? Why don't you stick around and watch this segment and see how we do it on my scale model railroad, this area is secondary. <laughs> Hello everyone, Joe from Central Jersey Conrail and Inscale. Welcome back to the Operation Series. So this month on the Operation Series, we're going to be running the WJSA-37. To refresh everybody's memory, the SA-37 calls out of Brown's Yard, travels down the main line, and services all the industries south of Toth. So our session here is progressing along nicely. Uh, everything's running real smooth. Uh, this is our last local train for this series, and then we'll get started next month on Yard Ops. So, uh, let's go over and meet the crew. They got the train all assembled and uh, go over their paperwork and uh, we'll get to work. Okay everyone, so here's our train for today. On the point we got GP40-2 number 3385. We'll be taking 12 cars down to the southern end of the layout with us today. If we look at our uh, switch list from the Conrail Historical Society, uh, you can see we have six hopper cars to go down to Glidden. We have three um, lumber racks to go to Danassos, and we have two gondolas to go over to Naval Weapons Station Lakehurst. So the crews already had conducted their brake tests. So we're all set to go, so we're going to call up dispatch. Uh, there's nothing on the main line, and we're going to have the main from Browns all the way down to mile post 67. So, Form D, C-108-2, CNE, number 3385, dated August 15, 1988. Circle line two, operate in bolt directions on single track between Browns and mile post 67. Dispatcher is JD. Time effective on the fast cock is going to be 11.10 hours. Okay, so now that we got all our paperwork in order, we're going to head out. All right, crew's gonna stop here short of the crossing at Route 88. 
so I can walk forward and open the turnout for the run around at Lakehurst. All right, so the brakeman's gonna walk forward. He's gonna unlock the turnout. And then he'll open it. 3385, turnout's line for Lakehurst run around. Pull forward. Conductor's gonna get off and protect the crossing. Okay, so before we proceed on down, all the way down the run around, uh, what I need to do is I need to leave these cars out on the main, and I'm going to make sure that the crossing is clear at 88. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to set a handbrake. And we'll and we'll pull forward. So now we're gonna stop here and we'll set another handbrake on those lumber racks. Racks there, so we can work uh, Naval Air Station Lakehurst. Okay, so Brake was going to unlock the switch stand. Shift to turn out. 3385, turnout's line for Lakehurst. Conductor's on the rear. Brakeman's on the ground. Push back four car lengths to a hitch. One half. All right, and we're on. So we're gonna release the handbrakes on those two cars. Three, three, eight, five. Pull forward. Six car lengths. Conductors on the rear. One more. That's good. Brake was gonna shift the turnout for the main. Three, three, eight, five. Turnout's line for the main. Push back. Six car lengths to a hitch.
Two more. One more. One half. All right, so his lumber rack still got the uh, brake on it, so we don't gotta worry about that. So we will uncouple and leave those cars there and drop the empties. 3385, pull forward, four car lengths. Conduct those on the rear. That's good right there. Breaker's going to move the turnout for Naval Air Station Lakehurst. 3385, turnout's line for Lakehurst. Push back five car lengths, conductors on the rear. That's good right there, 3385. So we're going to set two handbrakes. All right, conductor's gonna get on the uh, locomotive, and we're gonna pull forward. All right, Brickman's gonna close the turnout and lock it. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna back down, couple on to that group of cars, and then back down a couple onto the whole train so we can get it on the runaround. Cause I need that on the runaround so I have room to make my moves over at Glidden. Brackman's going to walk back and protect the crossing. 3385, you're clear. Release the handbrake. Now we're going to pull forward on the runaround.
All right, so we're going to set two handbrakes because we're on a slight grade here. The locomotive is going to run around the train. All right, we'll open that turn out. First thing we're gonna do is get that hopper out of the way. Set a handbrake on that car. And we'll back up. All right, break me to jump down and open the turnout. You get back on, we're gonna ride down into the glidden. All right, so now we gotta release the handbrakes on all seven of the cars, six hoppers and the caboose. All right, so now we're ready to pull these loads out and we're gonna put them on the main.
Now we're going to drop that caboose right there. So it's at the handbrake on the caboose. Because that needs to go back down when we're done. We'll see if that stays. <laughs> Three, three, eight, five. Give me two more. One more. That's good right there. All right. Brake was going to close that turnout. Three, three, eight, five. Turns line for the main. Conductor zone and rear brake was on the ground. Push back eight car lengths to a hitch. Three, three, eight, five, four more. Two more. That was a long two. One more. One half. Couple and connect. Release the handbrake on that car. All right, we're gonna push it down clear. Then we'll pick up our empties off of the runaround. That's good right there. We'll set a handbrake. Brake is going to open that turnout. Conductor is going to head on down. Brake will start walking to the end of the train because it's going to release the handbrakes on those last two cars. It's going to pull the whole string up. All right, brake is clear to release those two handbrakes on the rear. Now we're just gonna pull the whole string off the run around and set it out on the main. 
so our train's ready to go, and then we'll make our drops in Glidden. Yeah, sorry about that. The uh, home phone was ringing. Telemarketers. Okay, so uh, we're stopped here, clear of the crossing. Brake was going to open that turnout. I'm sorry, he's going to close the turnout. He's going to protect the crossing, and we're going to push back down to the main, hook onto our train. Three, three, eight, five, four more. Two more. One more. One half. On the pin. All right. Now we got to release the handbrake on those hoppers. We set two, I believe. All right, we're gonna push this string down clear of Glidden. That should be good right there. Set a handbrake. Now yeah, we'll set two for good measure. Cause we're on a gir on a on a grade. Excuse me. Now we're going to pull forward. I'm not going to clear the whole crossing. People in Lakewood are loving this. But it's easier I this way don't once if I give it to him then I gotta take it back. Alright, we're gonna push down in and we're gonna couple under a caboose and ride it down into the pit. One more. One half. I'm gonna have to help, help this. See, that's what I didn't want to happen. I had to use some five figure uh, intervention here. I knew that, that caboose was gonna roll. All right, so we'll couple and connect. We'll release the handbrake on the caboose. Conduct and the brake man get on the back step. And they're gonna ride on down in. Three three eight five. You're clear.
I'm gonna take it nice and slow in the pit because there's a crossing down in there that we gotta watch for truck traffic and it tracks a little rickety. All right, so now the crew's gonna get to work setting all uh, seven handbrakes as they walk forward. All right, crew's gonna get on a locomotive and gonna ride out and rejoin their train on the main. All right, so, so before we proceed down the line, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of my car cards and waybills. So this mine block's got to go in to the, uh, to the bill box. This one comes out. These are the cars we dropped. And here's the cars we picked up. All right, I'll make sure that our uh, switch list is updated and we can head on down to Lakewood to do our work at the Nassos. Okay, so I made another change on the fly how we're gonna handle this. Instead of dragging this whole train down to Lakewood, and fouling up the crossing of Route 88, we're just going to leave from the gondolas back on the main. Uh, they're clear of the runaround, so if dispatch needs the, the main, they can run around the train. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just take the I-beam cars down to Lakewood with us. So I'll go ahead and set a handbrake. We'll set two handbrakes, because we've got some loads and we'll slight the raid. on down liquid. All right, we'll hold it up there. We're going to set a handbrake on that Milwaukee Road uh, lumber car. All 
All right. Brakeman's gonna walk over so he can open the turnout so we can head down to the. We gotta pick that car up off the runaround, which is our telephone pole load from uh, JCP and L, and then pick up the I beams out of Denasso's. We'll unlock those turnouts, even though I already moved them. So I'm going to go in first and grab those eye beams. Actually, you know what? I got to grab the uh, pole car first. This is fouling the uh, turnout. All right, release a couple and connect. Release that handbrake. And get this off the run the run around. So what we'll do is take the whole string out and put it on the run around. Or we'll just keep it all as one unit and just move it because I got the whole main. Brake was going to move that turnout for us. Conductor is going to be riding on the rear. 3385, push back two car lengths. Conductor's on the rear. Turnout's line for Denasso's. One more. One half. On the pin. All right, we're going to release those handbrakes on those three cars. And we're going to pull out. Three, three, eight, five. That's good, right there. All right, so we're gonna line that turn out now for the main. Push forward four car lengths to a hitch. Two more. One more. One half. On the pin. All right, we'll release that handbrake. And we'll take those last three cars and drop them into Denasso's.
One more through three eight five. That's good right there. All right, Brakeman's gonna open that turnout. Three three eight five turnouts line for Danassos. Conductors on the rear, Brakeman's on the ground. Push back eight car lengths. Three, three, eight, five, four more. Two more. One more. One half. Good right there. Okay. Now we get those cars in their spots. We're going to go ahead and set the three handbrakes. I'll pull out. This 835 is sitting there waiting for us still. All right, that's good right there. Break is going to line and lock those turnouts. All right, now we're going to push down. We're going to hook on to the rest of our train down near Lakehurst, and we'll do our air brake test. Um, actually, before we go, let's go ahead and uh, update our switch list. Did all our work we need to get done, and we'll change out the car cards and waybills. Those are the three we're leaving. And we're taking four with us. So we got a rather long backing maneuver. Back down through Lakehurst and over the crossing again. All right, hold up there, 3385. All right, Breaker's going to walk out. He's going to pop a fuse, protect the rear, even though there's uh, signals here.
All right, we'll couple and connect. My right, crew's gonna release those two handbrakes that we set. All right, and now we'll be ready for our air brake test. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll charge up the train line. All right, uh, air pressure's up to 90 PSI. We're gonna go ahead and give us, get a set. Three, three, eight, five, give me a set. Set the brakes. All right, brake pressure's now at 68 PSI. We're gonna confirm the pressure on the EOT at 66. Crew's gonna walk down and inspect to make sure all the brake shoes are set. We don't have to worry about any paperwork uh, as for Form D, because we're still operating on Form DC 108, and that gives us authority in both directions. So as soon as we're done with our air brake test, we can take it on home. All right, all brake shoes are set. Three, three, eight, five is a good set. Give me a release. Brakes are released. They're gonna walk forward and they're gonna inspect. All right, so the crew walk forward. All the shoes are released. Test is complete. So we are getting on the train. We're ready to go.
Okay, so the crew's back in Brown's yard. They're gonna go off shift. 1600 hours. Okay, everyone, so there you go. WJSA 37. Uh, that was fun. Uh, went really well, really smooth. You know, I'm starting to learn, uh, you gotta learn to think on your feet. Uh, and uh, on top of thinking ahead two or three steps and don't be afraid to change your plans midstream so I, I you probably caught that uh, while you're watching the video um, you know I said I was gonna do this move and then as I was moving the cars I was like wait a minute this move sounds better so it's just moving that's learning how to uh, switch cars that's that's what that's all about so this uh, sessions wrapping up here um, next month we're gonna be doing the yard ops and I'll show you how we bring in all the trains break them up Get them ready to head out to Camden and Oak Island. And uh, next month, I got a whole new group of cars I'm going to bring onto the layout. Um, so I'm sure because these cars have been in storage, they're going to bring a whole new set of problems with them. But um, we're going to work and groom them out as they get up on the layout. I'm just getting tired of seeing the same cars over and over. Uh, I went through all my cars in storage and realized I had enough to bring up on the layout to supplement and change these cars out. Um, however, you know, I don't have enough tank cars or I don't have enough gondolas, but, you know, using a little bit of modeler's license, make it a little more fun, change it up and see some different styles of cars, like some box cars where there's been tank cars or etc. You know, so uh, look forward to that next month so we're not seeing the same cars all over. So that's all I have for you this time on the operations series. If you've seen this video for the first time, you like model railroad operations, please subscribe to our channel because we're always doing videos like this and love to have you following along. If you haven't done so already, please check out our Facebook page and Instagram account because I'm always posting daily updates when I'm doing work down here. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.